Uh, welcome to my channel. This video covers the topic ECG, electrocardiograph uh, monitoring system. So, I will discuss about uh, the ECG and where the ECG is applicable. The ECG monitoring. So we heard the things like ECG. So if any heart related issues is observed, then uh, immediately uh, uh, the even the normal person. So if you are done ECG, you can come to know what are the problem or the Ill, uh, issues uh, uh, you observed like. But actually this can be analyzed by the, uh, the one uh, 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 practitioner only. The, that is a uh, the doctors can uh, able to analyze these uh, uh, issues like uh, uh, the how the ECG uh, monitoring or a controlled the electrical signals in the heart or the heart's pumping action is usually uh, controlled uh, by electrical signals that you know. The heart pumping action is controlled by electrical signals and which, uh, which usually generates a rhythmic uh, uh, rhythms of the heartbeat. The electrical signal can be monitored using electrocardiogram ECG. Electrocardiogram usually it records the electrical activity of the heart and provides the imp important information about the heart function. To find the heart function whether it is a normal or any uh, abnormal or any related issues observed then we can observe uh, uh, we can find out uh, by using electrocardiogram. Uh, so, it uh, provides, it records the electrical activity of the heart and provides important information about the heart function. So, an ECG, it measures the electrical signals produced by the heart as, a, uh, as it uh, beats and generates a trace or waveform that reflects the electrical activity of the heart. Heartbeat. Again, see here the ECG also in that we will observe the wave functions or the waveform uh, that reflect the electrical activity. Like brain activity we observed by electro and cyclogram. Here the heart activity we uh, predicted or we observed information we will collect by electrocardiogram. This trace can be used to diagnose the heart condition and monitor the heart function. See, during ECG, a small adhesive electrodes are placed on a specific location of the chest, arm and legs. They are the, placed in the specific location uh, uh, on the chest, arm and the legs. This electrode detects the electrical signals generated uh, by the heart as it contracts or uh, relaxes. The electrodes are connected to ECG machines. It is connected to ECG machine. So, these electrical signals received from heart are amplified and recorded as a series of waveform on graph paper. So, this is the ECG reading. The rhythmic heartbeat reading can be observed by ECG uh, waveform on a graph paper. So, in electrocardiograph, if a heart is beating, steadily it is it beat steadily it will produce a typical ecg pattern so this is a typical ecg pattern we observed here it is a typical ecg pattern here we observe p functions t functions and qrs complex the p wave it indicates a Art, uh, atrial depolarization, what we called it as a systole, during which electrical excitation of art, atria spreads from uh, SA node to all over uh, uh, atrium or depolarization, initiating uh, atrial contractions. When the atrial gets contracts, so the systole is depolarization of uh, atrial is observed 
hence the p wave represents the uh, atrial systole so it is represents the atri atrial um, uh, systole then uh, uh, the next uh, things what we observed is a qrs duration or the qrs complex this qrs complex the qrs complex is the depolarization of ventricles you know atria atri, uh, atrium ventricles so when the pumps the blood pumps to the ventricle so the depolarization of the ventricles initiating the ventricle calorie contraction making the beginning of systole so hence the qrs wave represent the uh, ventricular systole so p wave represent the atrial systole and t wave uh, represent the ventricular repolarization or the diastole or it is the beginning of the uh, diastole end of the uh, systole and represents the beginning of the ventricular uh, diastole and now the pr interval what we observed it is a uh, the time gap between the atrial depolarization that is a pr it's nothing but the interval it is the uh, 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 atrial depolarization and ventricular uh, depolarization the st segments represents the interval between the ventricular depolarization and the repolarization so st segment this segments uh, usually represents uh, uh, the it will represents the uh, this st segment represents the uh, repolarization and the depolarization time gap by counting the number of qrs complex formed during that is the uh, systole and the diastole the complete we can evaluate the heart beat rate of the patient any deviation in the shape results in the heart disease or the abnormalities of heart rhythm which can either be slow uh, fast irregular so under that condition the essential uh, equipments in the field of medicine is required then why this uh, ecg is required or ecg monitoring or the uh, uh, in the medical field uh, finds applications so ecg provides a valuable information uh, about the heart function but first of all it will tell about the heart rate of the uh, person and the abnormalities in the heart rhythms uh, such as uh, atrial fibrillations heart blocks etc uh, even electrical conductions of the heart if any abnormalities is find in the electrical conduction of the heart it varies from the normal heart Uh, uh, beat waves and insufficient blood flow to a certain area of the heart uh, may observe or fast damage to heart from a heart attack can be regulated or can be uh, uh, get the information from the by doing ecg and uh, structural abnormality in the heart such as uh, hypertrophy uh, enlargement of the heart chambers etc can be uh, observed by uh, conducting ecg and to monitor and evaluate the functioning of phase maker and uh, implantable cardio verter uh, di uh, defibrillators device and uh, during that the uh, in, uh, in, in inserting then we have to monitor the uh, heart functioning so ecg is useful uh, it is a non invasive and relatively simple procedure we are not inserting any equipment to the heart it is a uh, on the skin only will uh, at a specific point it is introduced or keep by keeping we can get the valuable information about heart electrical activities and uh, we can uh, uh, diagnose and managing the various heart related uh problems